Happy Hump Day. I'm Heidi Glaus. Did you know St. Louis had the first ever camera club in the country? It's one of the reasons the Photography Hall of Fame and Museum was moved to our city three years ago, but it's still a bit of a hidden gem. Not far from St. Francis Xavier College Church. In the shadow of the Continental Life Building in Grand Center is a place not nearly enough people know about. It's the International Photography Hall of Fame and Museum. There's nothing like it in the world. It's a snapshot of the talented folks who have made their mark on photography, some you'll recognize. He put uh, the camera into the iPhone, and uh, everyone's a photographer now. Others you may not. It's a place preserving the history of the art and the many tools. This is a uh, camera was uh, created in 1891. It's the Henry Clay camera. That were used to get those incredible images. We also have the Hasselblad. It's an anniversary camera from 1985. You see the gold and the black. It's beautiful. Patty Winty is the executive director of this hidden gym. We honor technology, we preserve the history, we celebrate those pioneers and those inspirational folks that have become photographers and have, have done something with their life to make an impact. It's a spot where you can see different exhibits, attend a lecture. If you don't know how to use the camera on your iPhone, uh, this is a place to come and learn that. And read about the people behind those memorable moments captured on film. So we have 79 inductees to the Hall of Fame. We're about ready to induct nine more. They're also handing out their first Lifetime Achievement Award to a man who's better known for singing. Kenny Rogers is known for his portrait photography as well as his landscape photography. He actually has a couple of books, including this one, Your Friends and Mine, which was published back in 1987. So stop by the International Photography Hall of Fame and Museum, where there's always something to see. You guys, Kenny Rogers will actually be in town this Friday night to accept his Lifetime Achievement Award. The reception starts at 6, tickets cost $250. You can call 314-535-1999 for more information. The Hall of Fame and Museum can be found at 3415 Olive Street. It's typically open Wednesday through Saturday from 11 to 5, but it's closed until Saturday for the installation of a new exhibition. Admission is $5 for adults. If you're 18 years old and younger, you can walk in free of charge. IPHF.org is the website. 